Welcome everyone, this is Joy of Joy Morris Beauty and in this video I'm going to be telling you about these cute crochet twists which I installed individually in my hair so stay tuned. Okay so I wanted to tell everyone about this new hairstyle that I'm trying out. As you know I cut my hair um, at, at this point it's been maybe about a month ago, a little over a month ago and my hair is somewhere between three to four inches long so I have been I'm um, just looking for different ways to wear my hair um, you know I live in Dallas it's really really hot and in order to do the wash and go each day it takes um, more time than I honestly have time for in the mornings I work full-time job I have a small son I have um, little to no time to myself so I have to figure out how to um, keep myself up with a minimal amount of time. I did some searching on YouTube, um, different crochet styles, and I wanted to do something different from what I've um, done before. Um, and so I came across a lot of videos with twists. So for a lot of the videos with the twist, they installed them um, like you typically install crochet hair. But I actually found a couple videos where um, the person and used the crochet hair to install the twist individually, which I thought was a pretty unique idea. Um, so I was like, well, that that's what I want to do. So I went to the beauty supply store and the one that's near me has um, this huge aisle and most of the aisle is actually like crochet locks and crochet twists and things like that. Um, I rushed out the house and then I left my phone at home so I wasn't able to do my normal like research. Like usually when I'm picking out new hair, I'll like look on my phone for to see what it looks like on people before I purchase it and I didn't have that luxury this time so I had to just go based off my gut and based off what made sense so I ended up actually picking up um, the expressions little looks um, wavy bomb twist now don't don't be thrown off because I you know it's little cute girl on the packages <laughs> this is technically little girl crochet hair but one of the reasons this intrigued me was because a lot of the twists and locks um, they were so long and my hair is so short um, I was concerned like would with me wearing a 12 inch 16 inch long lock or twist makes sense um, with how short my hair is and then too I didn't really just want a lot of hair to deal with right now I was uh, more interested in finding like a shorter hair so when I looked at this one in the package it, it kind of had the look that I was going for I said well I'll, I'll give this one a shot you know what could it hurt I had absolutely no clue how much hair to purchase so I said well I don't see myself putting more than 200 of these in my hair so I, I purchased um, 10 packs because each pack has 20 pieces so I was like well that that seems like I just don't see myself going over 200 so I said we'll do that and if I need to come back to the beauty supply store we'll see what happens so um, the way the twists look if you take them out the package this is what the twists look like oh this one has a knot in it let me see this is what the twists look like um yeah, there they are <laughs> so um a real reason they really said is eight inches but um put on the most bottom most row of my hair you can see it just kind of falls like above my shoulders and the way um it it kind of falls really nice like it, it created like a really nice layered look almost like a layered bob type of look um, you know, I said I didn't really want to have just like a, you know, first of all, my hair is like three inches long right now. I didn't want to go from three inches to like 20 <laughs> inches. I just wanted something a little more realistic looking. You know, I had to just in my head kind of think of a simple parting system because I wanted it to be clean and, you know, even and neat looking. But um, these these are all actually put in my head, my, my whole head individually. Um, I'm going to turn around and see if I can show you what it looks like.
I came up with this little card actually. So this this top part is like um, I think this is three quarters of an inch, and then this was half of an inch. So I use the um, the three. I cut up basically an index card and I measured it out to make these three quarter inch sections and these half inch sections, and um, I cut my you know like parted my hair. So this was the, the top, like the front, and then I had the back. So for all of this back here, um, you know, I used the three quarter inch parting to make rows and then also to kind of like individually space them apart. And then for the top half, um, I used the half inch because I wanted a bit more volume in the top half. So um, it took me a while. I'm not going to lie. This is not a... Um, crochet in 30 minutes type of video <laughs> like I said I, I wanted the look and feel of individual twists um you know which which has paid off for me because like I you know I love run, running my hands through the twist and it's just very comfortable um I love feeling like the wind on my scalp and things like that feels really really good um and I've had them in for about a week so far um and uh, let me see I think I worked on the hair over a course of um, about four or five days, just a couple hours each day. Um, yeah, I think the first day I did like a little marathon, maybe of like four hours. And then maybe the other days I did like two to three hours each. May not have been that long, but I'm just trying to give you, you know, an honest and fair estimate. Um, I said I purchased 10 packs of hair and then I ended up having ended up having like two packs left with some hair left out. So I think I ended up installing about 150 twists individually, um, which took a little bit of time because, you know, it, it literally is kind of like I had, you know, all of them installed individually. So I'm going to show you how I, I left one out so I could show you how to do one. <laughs> So you can see this little one that I have left. This is this is my hair, basically the length of my hair right now. So um, what I did to what I figured out after a while <laughs> was because um, the issue I started running into at first with the technique, which, which I'll show you in a minute, is that um, I felt like the crochet hook kept catching on. I think it was a weave hair. I freaked out because I thought it was my hair, but I think it was a weave hair. So the technique that I'm going to show you works a little better if um, your hair, your actual hair is a little wet and if the actual crochet extension is a little, you know, moist too. So um, I use my aloe vera gel, um, my infamous aloe vera gel that I use in my Big Chop video because <laughs> I still have some left. Um, and I just squirted some out. Can you see? Yeah. And then I just um, wet the twist. So, you know, like, so the end, like my hair is extremely coily. So the end, you know, was able to kind of like lay straight during this part of the process. And then, um, let's see. Here's one of the twists and my um, continuous mist spray bottle. So I didn't miss the top that I need to connect to my hair, but I missed it like the, the body of the hair. So that's nice and, mo nice and moist. And then what I did was I took my crochet hook. I slip it through the middle the base oh and the one last thing I forgot to add is um for my hair the sections I braided it like a three-part plait and maybe like half the way and then I twisted the rest of it so let's see All right so that's right there Here's the loop because they come pre-looped. So there's the loop you can see. Close that up. 
and then I pull that through so now that's that's kind of in you know through the base and then I'll hook I hook the length of the crochet close the last back down clasp back down pull the loop through so now that's underneath the base of my braid and now let me find my little piece of hair so here's here's my real hair here's the crochet and then I'm I'm kind of like closing the loop so I, I figured this was I found out eventually that was the best way to pull them away from each other and that makes it as tight as possible on the base so now that's secured to my scalp um, you know a nice firm grip on my scalp then I take the oh, here we go crochet hook and um, my hair is not very long right now Let's see so I you kind of work it through the middle like I said this whole process is easier when the hair is a little wet so I'm kind of twisting the crochet hook through the length of the crochet piece of hair and I'm working my way all the way up back to the base just kind of looping it around okay got that through now here's my piece of hair loop that through the top closed it and then I figured out after a while that it, it made sense to kind of push push the hair up so that it helps the clasp stay closed if you push the majority of the hair up and then pull it pull it down then it pulls it's right there through all of that hair I just kind of scrooched up there real fast then I pull it oh oh so got a little bit sticking out but um yeah it took me a while to kind of perfect that a little bit um, I'm still working on it but this was kind of what I figured out after a little bit of trial and error the back of my hair was a little frustrating I'm um, trying to figure that out here so I'll try to pull this little, little last piece through the technique I just described and see now the now the clasp open so then it kind of got hooked on the crochet here but that was like the biggest issue that I dealt with so it's got that little piece hanging out but what I did to what helps to and that's the last piece one I just did for you guys easy peasy right um, you, know, you sit up watch a movie while you're doing your hair um, super carefree So, um, let's see. What I did too, to kind of help, because you know, you might end up in a situation where you have like a couple little pieces hanging out here or there. So, um, two things that kind of helped with that. I purchased the color two, um, which my hair, my real hair is probably like, probably like the color, I don't know, 1B, but I prefer to, you know, something a little darker, closer to your hair will mask it if you have any little pieces that you know are hanging out like you saw that end piece that was hanging out um, also if you have an end piece like let's say somewhere up here and I actually did do this to the top of my hair where I had little end pieces sticking out um, let's see. I just took some of my eco styler gel um, got a little bit of it for whatever end piece would, would be sticking out I think I got all of them here here's one here happens to be one and um, what I did to just kind of disguise it a little more was I just you know you could wet it too but put a little gel on it and then just twist it you know you're, you're not trying to lock it you're gonna t you know take it down in, in due time but you're just kind of trying to help it whatever little piece if you had a difficulty getting it to stay in I just use a little bit of gel and twist it the real hair with the um, crochet lock extension and that helped it kind of blend a little better just some finishing techniques that I figured out and like I said I'm sure I'll find a couple more things this was my first time attempting this style but um, I've had it in for a week so far and I love it it is so comfortable it was never even when I first installed it you know was never like 
really tight or anything like that like you know sometimes when someone else does your hair you have the issue you know it's not their scalp they can't feel it so it's just you know making it too tight I didn't have that issue um, I love how versatile it is you know you have a lot of different style and options what I've been doing this week because some of the little pieces you know looks nice for pictures but you know if I'm like working I'm looking at my laptop this this kind of gets old you know <laughs> So um, I'll just take two pieces from the front temple part and just kind of loosely pull them back and then just double knot them. Double knot them. And then that, um, that kind of pulls them back a little bit, which has been cool. Um, I've also, like if I've been around the house working, just used my headband and just pulled it back. Um, so it's a lot of different ways you can kind of play with this hair. And like I said, the, the cool thing about getting the 8 inch version is um, it, it already has that layered look. So I didn't have to do any, I didn't do anything at all outside of um, just using that little gel technique I just showed you for the pieces that were still kind of sticking out a little bit but in terms of how layered it is um, you know the the little curly part on the end um, you know all of this this is how the hair came straight out of the package so even though it took a little while to install them individually um, once I put it in it was like it's done it's finished which is great so um like i said in this dallas heat it's been it's been one week so far it's been working out great um you know you wake up your hair is already done which is awesome so um yeah i'm loving it so if you are thinking about a hairstyle like this you might want to try this hair go to the kids section sometimes that works out <laughs> you might be like i'm buying a little girl hair no it's okay um, it's okay. So not everybody wants the, and that's nothing wrong with it, but you don't always want that look where it's just like super long and everybody doesn't always want that all the time. So this is probably more so, you know, my hair before it got damaged and I had to cut it off late last year. If I had twisted it, it probably would look a whole lot like this with it grown out. Um, so it's a very realistic crochet looking style. So very pleased. So hopefully that'll help you out a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them below. If you've tried this hair and you have some techniques or suggestions for me, I'll take that too. Because this is my first time, so I need to um, kind of play with it a little more. But thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned and take care. Bye.